This is Los Angeles State Historic Park, a 32-acre greenfield on the edge of Chinatown. For most of the time, it was a floodplain where wild roses and grapes grew, then farmland, then a rail yard. Soon, it'll be LA's newest park. The thing is, this park and its surroundings are the cradle that Los Angeles grew out of. People over thousands of years have been pulled to this area, but why? Like lots of big questions, the answer's simple. Water. To live anywhere, we need a constant supply of drinking water. This park sits at the end of the Santa Monica Mountains. This means two things. One, the Los Angeles River, which has been flowing east along the base of the mountain range, can now cut south. Two, when it does, it has to pass over the bedrock that holds these mountains up. So the river that has flowed underground now is forced up to the surface. This may not sound like a big deal, but this was the only part of the Los Angeles River that had water above ground all year long. So now we know that water has always flowed here. Let's go back 3,500 years to 1500 BCE. Standing at the northern edge of the park, we would have seen the Tongva, descendants of the Shoshone people bathing here in the Los Angeles River every morning before dawn. If we looked south, we would have seen smoke rising from their village of Yangna, which had a population of 200 to 500 people, somewhere near present-day Union Station. The Los Angeles River supported one of the largest concentrations of Native Americans in North America, reaching a total population of 5,000 people living in dozens of villages along its course. This fact is crazy. Who thinks of the LA Basin and thinks, one of the largest Native American populations in the US? I sure didn't. The Tongva people were drawn to this area because of water and the plants and animals it supported. For over 3,000 years, their hunter-gatherer lifestyle remained undisturbed. Then, the King of Spain decided he wanted to see what this Alta California was all about. In part two, a man named Portola camps near the north end of the park, marking the beginning of the end for the Tongva people and planting the seeds of modern Los Angeles.